model car fans welcome to the muscle car modeler my name is Ral and today I want to show you another one of my uh, restoration candidates here and uh, the, the the other video went over really well and um, I fear I you know tease you guys on an, on another one here and get your opinion this one AMT 67 Fairlane GT so you know for for you Ford fans um, I've got this in my stash and, and I'll show you what I've got here and what I've got to work with and believe it or not this one landed in my lap I wasn't even really looking for it at the time but, you know but that's how it happens sometimes here we go that's the main bulk of it and all of her glory and and when I ran into this uh, I couldn't believe it I mean it doesn't look like it's ever been painted as far as the body goes um, did some minimal cleaning um, and for the most part this is how I got it here's the the underside chassis it was assembled at one time and uh, now based on how it looks under here it was definitely painted orange at one time because um, it has it on the glass so when it was stripped it was stripped pretty good I didn't have to strip it but the, the original glass which is in great shape I can polish that up uh, it's got a couple of marks on it and I prefer the original vintage glass um, but uh, this one this one's in, in great shape it's a little bit of marks here and there but I can polish that up so you can see the rest of the body so it appears it was orange at one time it's actually this is probably the first time in in five or six years since I pulled this out and looked at it um, but you know never really had a clear vision of what I was going to do with it other than build it stock so there's the interior tub and the back seat and the front seat so everything here is to make it I got the wheels and then in this bag I got all the parts and some of it's from some donor kits so I got this one uh, didn't have the engine. Well, it's got some of the engine, belts, exhaust. But I got wheels, wheel backs, the um, road wheels, or rally wheels. Those came from a different kit. So I'm throwing all this stuff in here. But uh, it's a 428. There's a, the steering wheel. And then the original bumpers. These need to be re-chromed. Um, could have done it years ago, but I left these alone. Didn't have the stock wheels. And then here's the dash. She's real pretty. So it's kind of nice to have all, all of this stuff. So I gathered up everything to build it. Just never really chose what color the original valve covers. And if I remember right, some of this stuff is from uh, uh, the AMT Newer Tool 66. So here's the taillight lenses, the original ones. They're actually in really good shape. They were so mildly glued that you know that they were taken out and I bought this where it was disassembled like this other than the gray parts I added from um, parts kits there's one of the taillight bezels like those would need to be re-chromed to reuse these here's the other one and these are usually glue bombs where they're just ruined and you can't get them off but these are in great shape so all they just need to do is get re-chromed and not drop them so I got everything there to build it but what's kind of funny about it is this car I wanted to build for a long time and so from model Haas this is why that wasn't re-chromed here's a model Haas front bumper rear bumper tail lights the chrome the tail light lenses and a 67 hood I had ordered and bought all these parts many years ago so that I can take the more modern AMT 66 and convert it into a 67 but there was a few challenges with doing that for one 
um, the main one I knew of right away was this trim on this trunk piece right here um, did not have that or any way of replicating that now that I have it I could foil cast this if I wanted to do it um, going from that kit and then there was um, a body line that's different or missing or that I would have to fill in or sand I don't remember which way it was because I think there's a line here that the 67 this body doesn't have this is a pretty nice kit considering the age of the of the tooling you know this is an annual 67 some glue marks right on here or tire marks on the trunk um, they're very very faint but you can see them almost can't feel them but you know that would be body work and sanding but yeah this is this is one that I stumbled upon and I've had it for a while now just never really figured out what color I want to paint it it's funny, I, I seem to really like greens, and I keep picturing this one as a the real light lime green, um, which they had in 67, or maybe a bright red, but I don't know, never. That's where some of these stall, right? I get them to the point where, like this, this one, I really didn't have to do much to it, but I'll get all the parts, I'll get it all taken apart, stripped, and pretty much ready to go. I got a ton of them that are this way where I've collected all the parts I needed to build it or at least I think I collected everything and um, and in some cases extra parts like in the, the model house parts here and uh, got everything to build it and get it all ready to go where all I got to do is is pick a color pick the colors the theme and build her and that's where some of these stop it's like I don't know what color to do or I'll have some in different colors and I can't choose another color. Um, so I, I stumble in those areas, especially with some of the Mopar ones that I got in my piles and that I'll show you. But uh, uh, this one's this one's all ready. I just need to get around, get back to it, and do it. And this is actually from uh, the AMT 67 Mustang. That's the little horn pad that's in that kit. And it's the only one I know of that has that. And it's just about perfect because I think the original kits were missing that detail. And uh, But these cars actually had that horn pad. So I know I uh, took that out of one of those kits and put it in there. Because I think it's still in the, the 67 Shelby kit, that particular horn pad. Even though the 67 Shelby uses a completely different steering wheel and doesn't use that pad. But if I remember right, it's still in that kit. So... There's a sneak peek at this one, and let me know what uh, what you would do, what you think, and uh, no, it is not for sale, um, but how you would build it, and what you would do with it, and uh, color combos and all that stuff, and the GTA stripes, um, if, you, if you had them or wanted them, and some of those things like that, but uh, so I'm just, just real curious, but like I said, that, that other video went over real well, so I figured I'd show you another restoration candidate and do a few more videos like this of showing you different kits and what I've got and, and some of the stages. And we can dream together, and maybe I'll get motivated and build some of these. But uh, so so the, for that, uh, I appreciate your, your comments and your discussions and, and all that good stuff. And if I got any videos of or pictures of this kit... Um, from when I first got it because some of them I did strip but this one I'm fairly certain I didn't do anything to it I just got it this way so one of those somebody was liquidating their collection when I went to one of the um, swap meets and he had a whole bunch of these for a uh, really good price I, I don't even remember what I paid but I grabbed as many of the, the kits that, that I could get my hands on and I know this was one of them and there were a few in there that you know I, I remember I bought them, didn't really care for them, and turned around and sold them on eBay. But uh, this this one, I knew I wanted, and I wanted to build it. And I uh, just don't have a clear vision of exactly how I want to build it, uh, color combo-wise. I do plan on keeping it stone stock, 428 um, muscle car. But I still have to build one of those AMT 66s. I haven't built either one of those yet, either. But uh, I figure I, I probably rambled on enough about this one. But uh, I'm real curious and of your thoughts and how you would build it and uh, what colors you would go with. And uh, wheels and tires, if you would keep the 
the white line tires or go red line or um, well they really didn't have red line in 67 but uh, they started to appear about then but I'd, I'd probably keep the white wall white line tires but uh, yeah whatever color combos and interior color combos you would go with and uh, just let me know and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it so uh, thank you for subscribing thank you for tuning in and let me ramble on and uh, you guys you have a wonderful day